the final stretch of our journey for today. I managed to liberate. Look at that. From next to lock one. Uh, the Sheffield Canal, as I said, is 201 years old. Last year being the bicentenary, celebrating 200 years. The Canal and River Trust, who are responsible for it, had a couple of little events down in Victoria Keys. They couldn't really celebrate the whole of the canal, however, because most of it is impassable. Now it's dry at the moment, and that is the muddy, rutted mess that you're expected to walk through. Therefore, the canal, the 200th anniversary of opening the canal was a bit of an embarrassment and I have to admit, as a canal business, we were embarrassed and ashamed. Because this is not accessible for anyone with any form of disability, let alone a wheelchair. Even people with mobility issues couldn't navigate this canal towpath. And the Canal and River Trust do have a statutory responsibility under the Equality Act to try and ensure accessibility. I think you'll agree they haven't done a very good job. And they've got this strap line that they use, making life better by water. I can't see much of it here. Look at that. It's like a little mini river next to the canal. So, fun fact number three. The Sheffield Canal was pretty much abandoned in its 200th anniversary and is completely inaccessible and impassable for the elderly, mums, dads with prams, children, young children, the elderly, infirm wheelchair users. Did I mention wheelchair users? It's fine for cyclists. And it's not really the cyclist's fault. But it's the neglect, the willful neglect of the Canal River Trust. That's it for fact number three.